Hi everyone, I just wanted to, to make a video to announce that I am going to London Comic Con this weekend. I will be at table Z8 and if you look in the description below I've put a link to a uh, catalogue of stuff that I'm actually selling and you'll be able to come and meet me. I'm going to do commissions, I'm going to do, I'm selling prints, I'm selling original artwork, I'm selling lots of things, my new uh, art book as well that's going to be there and I just wanted to point out, yes I look like a total total scruff and that's because I'm going to do a what is in my convention case video as I pack it. So it's going to be literally just a mess and it's going to be as true to actually packing a convention case as possible. I don't want it to look like it's uh, not fake but I want it to look like it's how it really is represent what it's really like to prepare for a convention and you can be super stressed I'm actually not that stressed and um, chances are I'll forget something and I'm just at that point now where I feel like I expect that now um, so I'm going to show you what goes inside my convention case and hopefully some of you guys will come and see me at London this weekend and yeah I hope you guys like this video so, disclaimer, my house is a mess because it's convention time. This is the state of my desk, it's uh, an absolute tip, but whatever. The floor's a mess, my desks are a mess, like everything's a mess. And here is my case for my uh, stock. I have another case where I place my um, display units. So I'm going to show you how I pack this one and what's going inside. So. First of all, we'll start here. These are my A3 prints. I have two poly hold alls, and these are like A3 plus, so they hold more uh, prints because they're slightly bigger. And I've got in this one uh, is half uh, brand new prints and half discounted prints, like old designs or misprinted things. And then in this one is all like um, full price stock again. This big thing is my um, A1 poly hold all, and it contains my A1 prints. Let's move these out of the way. Oh, so heavy. Um, contains my A1 prints, and I have a cardboard divider in between because it separates the ones that are for display, which have Velcro on. And you can just see there's some Velcro because I have a uh, fabric wall behind me, and then I have my A2s. Oh no. <laughs> Um, my A2s are in there, which are my free Zodiac posters, and as well some just some outboard um, for display. And that's that. Just bo dropped a box of business cards. So yeah, these are my business cards. I got them from, uh, I can't remember where it is now, but it was really good. And if I can remember, I'll put it in the description. But they are super thick, and they're just, they're just one design. I didn't go with me for these, because I wanted like quantity over quality. So yeah. I've got two boxes of those. And here's my pencil case. Um, I'm not going to show you everything that's inside it, but it's mostly brush pens um, and some grayscale Copics and some Pro Markers. Here's my current sketchbook, as you guys know. I put a massive sheet of like holo film over the front to stop the stickers falling off. But yes, yeah, so this is the sketchbook I'm taking. And it's also got like um, an erasable a biro thing, a friction pen. Okay, this little box is full of little daft bits. I found a load of old stickers that I've never sold, so I'm gonna just put like 10 pence on them and people can rummage through. Um, some of this stuff's for my one pound, I think actually most of this is for my one pound discount box, apart from the books there, they're for commissions. Um, yeah, so I've got some little bits like that. All in really useful boxes, of course. And then this one has a big chunk of stuff in. So I have framed originals. So there's the rainbow quartz one you can just see. And all the pictures are on my Instagram. There's the opal. And there's the Zach. And because they've got glass, I've wrapped them up. And these are my mystery bags. And these are basically a uh, heat. Um, sealed mystery bags that you uh, open up and there's three badges or queuings, just old stock, £2.50, just get rid of them, and I've got a lot of those. Um, more framed originals, these are my Pokemon watercolours, the three that I took off my online store. So there's those three. 
And then I have these two I just found underneath my printer, oddly enough. They're just some old mystery prints. I thought I might as well put those on my table. I have a Sardonyx book. Someone actually messaged me to buy this, but they, they never got back to me, so I'm going to just put it for sale now. Um, so Sardonyx sketchbook, and then that's a cloud card notebook, and you can see the print sparkly. So I hand drew the cloud card, I did the same with the Sakura card, but um, I did it too fat, and I, I like this one better. They're both notebooks, and then I did a crystal one where there's bits that are just... You can just see that there. I was super proud of that. I really enjoyed doing that, so I'm probably going to do more of those. And then more mystery bags, some prints, uh, sorry, pins, and then these are my limited edition prints. I've got like two lapises left, some amateurs, and my new one, which is my Sakura. And these are like hand finished, so you can see that there's like little details on them. Like, I uh, can't really see in this light <laughs> and under the cellophane bag, but like I hand finished each one and signed each one. Next we have this um, sign, which is my print prices, and there's my shadow. <laughs> um, so it's got the prices for my prints, and that just sits near my portfolio. This has got some commission cards, some old sticker sheets, and some um, labels for me to do price labels, and also my shipping labels, which are really fun actually. So it says, hello, I ship. And um, if people buy something, they get one for free and they can write on their OTPs. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. I'll just get comfortable because I'm going to be here for a few minutes. And then in this box, I have my cellophane bags for my 6x4 prints because I don't bag them beforehand anymore. It's just a bit of a waste of time. Um, some bookmarks, and then I have some original art cards. So I have um, Ruby and Sapphire. I've got a pencil, two pencil cases there. Some a6 prints, uh, mystery bags, and then my sticker sheets. I do have more of these art cards. I don't know where I've put them. I think they might be in that box there. Let me show you guys. Because they, should, they shouldn't be in the sale box to be fair. Like the really old stuff. There they are. Yay! They should not be in there. <laughs> So I have a Cara and a Frisk and an Otia and a Masca, a Metaton and a Peridot. And these are all like I've boarded them, like mounted them on little pieces of board. They're all done with like Copics and ink and I was super proud of those as well. They were a lot of fun to do. Let's put all the soil stuff back inside. Like because we've got to leave soon. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so that's sticky sheets and uh, cellophane bags mostly, and then art cards. Next, I'm taking my um, watercolour half pans. Really expect them to all jiggle about in the suitcase, so they're going to be fun putting them back together. Um, one of these boxes is uh, watercolour paper. Steven Universe pencil cases and then the odd few originals at the bottom that I'm trying to shift. And then this one is my 6x4 prints. Ah! <laughs> I can't lift it. Anyway, 6x4 prints, so they're all organised into design. And there's a, an old video on my channel somewhere about this box and um, how I organise my prints for conventions. So you can go check that out. This box contains the frames that I'm using. Um, I saw someone at Birmingham Expo who said that they would, um, you could get your print framed. So I've got some 6x4 frames and I will frame the um, 6x4 print for an extra charge. And then I've got these little dinky things. I've got a little trolley. I'm just going to put badges in and like a little sign saying a pound or whatever. And the same for this basket. I just thought they were so cute. And then this grey box, I love this grey box. Um, this has my discounted A3s in it, like the ones I showed you in that thing. Um, and they just stand up and they're, they're just like a fiver, just take them. Um, there's my card thing, which you'll see in action at the actual convention, because I'll take a video. 
and I've got two grey frames because my colour scheme is meant to be yellow and soft grey but I haven't painted my grid cubes yet which is a shame and, and then I have to take this sketchbook for a commission and then um, this is my portfolio stand it's like a magazine rack and it goes kind of like crisscross and it, it you um, I put my A3 portfolio on which is this in the front I have my signs and then uh, this actually needs like reorganising because I've got new prints and some prints had sold out at Liverpool. So, yeah, um, people flick through and look at my prints and choose which one they want and then I hand them over because otherwise there's like not enough room. <laughs> okay, so moving on. This is super exciting, isn't it, Ryan? The books. So, as some of you know, I did a Kickstarter to get my sketchbook printed. And this is the Kickstarter version, Sketchbook 2. Oh my gosh, they've just arrived and I'm so, so happy with them. They are incredible quality. And these are the ones I'm actually taking to my show. These aren't going to go in a case because they literally just think they're all the same designer. So we'll just take this one box in there. There's 166 of those and 50 of these. Wow, <laughs> so that's one box. And we've got some birds. Woohoo! Um, in this bag here, we've got packaging. So we've got poster tubes, um, so people can pay like a pound if they want their uh, prints rolled up. Some baggies for anything that's framed. Um, what else? We've got someone's order, which I can't show you, obviously. There's my cash box, and I've got some fresh stickers on it. My cash box, woohoo! I've got a lapis, Stephen, Connie, Cookie Cat. There's another lapis and there's a garnet there. We have a naked Ryan, so I'm not going to show you him. Um, but these are a new thing as well. These are my mugs! <laughs> and these are really, really cool, actually. I will show you them when I actually have them on the table, um, because I don't want to unbox anything right now. And they're just in my Steven Universe bag. And then here is my um, case for like display units kind of like want my grid cubes mostly. So I've got two sets of the Safco uh, black wire cubes and we're going to be painting these yellow at some point in the future, aren't we? Yes. Yes. People can't see you nodding. <laughs> um, I also found these in Home Bargains or b and M. I I can't remember. They were super cheap, but obviously I'm not going to use the solar power. They might light up. I don't think they will. But they're basically just tiny, tiny little bee lights and I thought they'd be so cute for decoration. And then here's all the uh, like metal arms and clips to put together the grid cubes. I'm not getting them out, obviously. And then I've got uh, carrier bags, print like small print carrier bags. I've got a lucky cat that Maxi gave me, which is new. And then speaking of Maxi, this is Maxi's tote bag, which I'm going to try and solve for them. Boop, 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 and they need organising. Oops. Um, yeah, and they're really cool. So. I might have to nick one again. <laughs> again. I mean, what? Um, that's my tablecloth. And it's, like I said, like I mentioned, I want grey and yellow. So that's grey. And that's just a king-size flat sheet from Asda. It was like six quid. And it is perfect. Because with me having a dealer's table at London, I have two tables, like, together. So it's a six by four foot space. And this covers it perfectly. I couldn't believe it. Um, so there you go. King-size flat sheet. Perfect for any convention. <laughs> and then... Um, a folding stool just in case Ryan's not around to help take down the grid thing. And then clear bags for A3 prints if they don't want the tube. And I think that's everything. That is everything. <laughs> so we are officially packed and all I have to do is edit this video and we can go. Edit the video? Well, yeah. It's not going to take much editing though. <sighs> so, yes. On my way to Comic Con, and I'm really excited. And I hope to see some of you there. And watch out for a vlog after this weekend. Um, wish me the best of luck, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.